the airport and step on it. I've got to catch a plane. Oh, I'm passenger. Mm. All right, I'm with you. Where are you? I said to the airport. You got it. Airport. 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 Here's the airport. We're here. I'll be dollar thirty-five. We haven't gone anywhere yet. Oh. Car thirty-three. Pick up twenty-eight Broadway Street. Oh. 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 oh car thirty-three. Car 33, I can't pick him up now. I'm going to the airport. You're talking to the ashtray. <laughs> My microphone is gone. It's over there. Oh, brother. Car 33, car 33, I'm going to the airport. I'm going to go down Wilshire. And, uh, I'll get on San Diego freeway and I'm going on, I'll take that shortcut down there to follow it and I'll put the meter down. Who <laughs> <laughs> some help? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey there, no time now. Don't worry. Just start her up. How about those Mets? Will you just start the engine? Start the engine! <laughs> better take your foot off the pedal. Huh? I said you better take your foot off the pedal. Uh, yeah, my foot's on the pedal. Well, take your foot off. I'll take my foot off the pedal. Oh, he's on. Nice young whippersnapper. The airport. To the airport. <laughs> To the airport. No, passenger. I just came from the airport. Can't you go again? All right, you got it. One, schools are overcrowded. Two, 
Teachers have lives of their own. Three, coaches are important. This next scene is about one of the above, all of the above, or none of the above. Please do not fold, bend, or spindle as we look in on just plain teacher stuff. <laughs> Mr. Peaches, yes. the biology teacher from across the way. Yes, Miss Lemon. I'm not sure, but maybe I have something to tell you. Miss Lemon, ever since I saw you in the teacher's lounge eight years ago, my heart has been yours. Eight years ago? Why have you taken so long to tell me? I was waiting for a shipment of frogs, but now that they're older and on their own, I get out more. I'm sorry, Mr. Peaches. I'm, I have no time for love. I'm far too busy with my students. So, how many students do you have? Thirty-eight hundred. But there are only six chairs. How do you manage, Miss Lemon? Well, a couple of them do have to stand. <laughs> Miss Lemon, don't you have any time at all for romance? No, no time at all. I just take attendance and call it a day. <laughs> Miss Lemon, let us not lie to one another. Is there someone else? Mr. Peaches, I can't lie to you anymore. I, I am infatuated by Coach Whoopie Doo. Coach Whoopie Doo, Coach Whoopie Doo. I have never met that man, but I hear they're having a lot of trouble with his name down at the laundry. Mr. Peaches, you're going to have to control your temper. Oh, I am sorry, Miss Lemon. Pardon me, I got emotional. Well, good uh, afternoon, then. Excuse oh, me very much. It's good to be due. Yes, it is. Uh, how are you? I was uh, passing by your schoolroom door here, and my feet came in, and my body naturally followed. <laughs> I had a little trouble. I'm being a little late. I was down at the laundry. Uh, had some trouble down there. Coach Whippy D was getting my shirts by mistake. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought I heard laughter there for a moment. <laughs> Evidently, the comedy gods are very angry tonight. So, I was out playing a little uh, handball and got this doggone blister on my hand. A uh, what? Hmm? That's a volleyball, Coach. It is. Well, I'm very happy you told me that. I was going to have it lanced. Uh, whoopie doo Yes. whoopie doo you might as well know that I love Miss Lemon. And even if you marry her, take her to another town, have children, send them through college, get yourself a nice job sorting rocks, I still am going to write her twice a week. Well, you sound like a serious man. I'll tell you what, how would you like to be a cheerleader? Doesn't anyone care about my feelings? Doesn't anyone care about me? My hopes, my dreams, my whims, my moods, my deep-seated emotions. Well, I'll listen to your whims and your deep-seated emotions, but I've got to get back to practice. <laughs> I've got 2,000 guys on the team this year. If I don't get there, they use all the hot water. I have heard enough, whoopie do. I plan to marry Miss Lemon, and as for you... <laughs> well, now you've done it. Now the team won't know me from the 30-yard line. I'm taking a lot of extra points from the whoopie do. Again, fluff. But the best... I like to entertain myself at times. You know, that's all that's important. That's right. You can't think of everybody in your life. Yes. You've made me very angry. Huh? He's going to pinch you. Oh, then I'll kick him. Is that right? I'll scratch a good portion of your body if you do. <laughs> then, coach, I will punch you. Is that correct? I'll tell you what, I'll bite your knee. It'll be awfully hard for you to get up late at night. <laughs> then I will... Hit you with a baseball bat. Well, so far, that baseball bat sounds real good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I hope you two are very happy. I'll be on my way, if you don't mind. Folks, <clears throat> there's a Met Paul. <laughs> We've been waiting for you here, and I'm glad you arrived. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> there's a message to be learned here. A lot of times, education gets... <laughs> Excuse me, my mustache has tickled my tongue. 
Education gives way to the baseball bat, especially when it's on top of your noggin heading for your nose by way of your forehead. I'll be in the car. Oh, darling, is it wonderful when two people from different walks of life can meet one misty night never to be alone anymore. Yes. Is it lunchtime yet? <laughs> Well, that time has come again when we must all bid adieu. What? Does it matter? No. Okay, before I go, I'd like to say goodnight to some of my friends here. First of all, the Jimmy Joyce Singers. The Tom Hansen Dancer. The Bananas, or the third, whichever you prefer. Blaine Stevenson and Art Matrano. Bruce Cullen and David Somerville. My very special friend, Mr. Merv Griffin and Judy Carn. Oh, uh, thank you very much. I'll thank you. Hit the road. Oh, you go. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Uh, incidentally, next week my guests will be Steve Allen and Needy Gourmet. I will be with us until that time. It's like I always say. <laughs> what would it cost to get a piano player? <laughs> Gee, it's all fine and dandy. It should be when I'm with you. Good night, everybody. Sir, speaking. <laughs>